This is the second radio frequency group retrieval EVA. EV1 and EV2 egress the airlock and proceed to the forward face of the truss. Heading port, the crew put down safety tether green hooks and continue outboard of the solar array rotating joint. EV1 goes to the 2 Alpha Beta Gimbal assembly and secures a crew lock bag of tools. Using the pistol grip tool, EV1 releases four bolts on the H fixture and then removes it. EV1 then surveys the worksite. Meanwhile, EV2 goes to the solar array rotating joint and removes a cover exposing a trundle bearing assembly. After disconnecting an electrical cable, EV2 uses the pistol grip tool to release three bolts and remove the trundle bearing assembly. EV2 photographs the surface, then applies lubricant to the rotating ring using a grease gun. Back at the Beta Gimbal Assembly, EV1 continues a photo and video survey of the sites where an ISS rollout solar array modification kit will be installed on a future EVA. EV-1 returns inboard to the camera port 8 worksite to adjust a cable interfering with movement of the camera light assembly. After lubricating the surface, EV-2 installs a new trundle bearing assembly. EV2 then certifies the worksite. EV2 surveys the worksite before replacing the cover. From camera port 8, EV1 translates inboard, down strut, and temp stows the crew lock bag on the US laboratory. EV-1 goes to the airlock, retrieves a different crew lock bag, and takes it to the external stowage platform number two. EV-1 retrieves a portable foot restraint and installs it on the robotic arm. Then EV-1 ingresses the foot restraint and the robotic arm flies to the radio frequency group aft position. EV-2 returns along the truss back to the airlock, stowing the large bag outside the airlock, and joins EV-1 on the stowage platform. The crew work together to fold back the multi-layer insulation surrounding the radio frequency group. At the aft wedge clamps, the crew remove any rubber covering the clamp nuts using needle nose pliers. Then using a ratchet wrench and a specially designed tool, they loosen the five aft wedge clamps.
EV-1 is then flown to the forward face of the radio frequency group, releases four structural bolts, then removes it from the stanchion. EV-1 then flies it to the airlock, where both crew secure it inside. Back at the stowage platform, EV-1 egresses the arm, removes the foot restraint, and retrieves the earlier temporarily stowed tool bag. EV-2 secures the covering over the stanchion, then both crew return to the airlock and ingress.